Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring the essential oil of thyme. It's a perennial herb that grows inconspicuously across the ground, except in spring when it sprays out these beautiful purple flowers that the bees absolutely love. Thyme has a long history of being recognised by people in different civilizations. In ancient times, women would embroider scarves with a sprig of thyme and a bee on it, symbolising natural attraction and hopefully it would help them to attract a beautiful young man. Now in ancient uh, Egyptian times, they would use thyme as one of the herbs in embalming the dead to help them pass on to the other side. The Greeks would give uh, time to warriors to give them courage and the Romans started flavoring liqueurs and cheeses and different foods and drinks with beautiful thyme and that's probably how you know thyme as a beautiful cooking herb but the amazing thing is when we actually steam to seal the leaves of thyme we get this amazing essential oil and that's what we're going to dive into in this video and how you can use it physically mentally and emotionally spiritually and beyond Thyme essential oil has so many benefits for the body. It is an absolute power oil when it comes to supporting the immune system. Think of it very similar to oregano, but whereas oregano essential oil you probably don't want to use every single day, thyme you can feel a bit more comfortable doing so. So there's lots of different ways to support your immune system. If you're using it topically, you can use it aromatically and make a nice blend and breathe that in each day. Or if you've got a therapeutic grade essential oil, you can even use it to flavor your foods and your drinks um, or popping it in a veggie cap and having it that way. And that could be a really nice way to support your immune system. Other ways that I'll use thyme, a drop of it mixed in with some carrier oil or carrier cream, massaged when you're feeling a bit achy or you know, a bit, bit stiff, can help to give you a bit more range of movement, or rub that all over the chest and it really supports respiratory system health as well. Now being purple, any plant that has purple flowers is associated with Jupiter, and when Jupiter I often think of the head. So really good for mixing a bit of thyme in with your shampoo and hair, um, or conditioner, and it really helps with healthy hair, um, and can also help with I find when I'm diffusing it really helps with memory. So in, anytime where you need to really focus or concentrate or study, that's where I'll really use time as well. I love time when it comes to emotional healing and emotional issues. And I find those that don't like the smell of time, it suggests to me that there are issues that are buried deep below. Now, life may be going swimmingly at the moment. You don't feel like anything is wrong, but time goes looking for those unresolved things that we've kept buried. You know, things happen to us in the past, maybe in childhood or when we were a teenager or when we were younger, and we have two options whenever something upsets us. We can either express it and get it out, or we can repress it. Now. Think of these different things as tomatoes. Now with a tomato, it's okay to leave a tomato in the fridge for a day and then get it out later, or leave it in there maybe for a week and it should be okay, but if we leave it there for a month, or a year, or a decade, or even longer than that, and that's what we do with some of our feelings, and feelings and thoughts all have energy, and those energies start to fester like rotten tomatoes within us. What time does is time goes searching deep within us and drags these different things out. So when we have this drawing to work with time, or we have a real repulsion, sorry flies, <laughs> um, a real repulsion to it, then that suggests it's time to go looking at what did we bury a long time ago that is hindering us in some way. Maybe we keep on getting to a certain point and then we trip over somehow. Time will help you find what's tripping you out, help you deal with that, and help you resolve it once and for all. So time is an absolutely amazing oil. If you want to do some strong, powerful emotional healing, grab time essential oil. As time starts to clear out what's no longer serving our body and no longer serving our mind and our emotions, it then opens up our spiritual path for us to soar. And if you need to be a bit more courageous and do what you want to do, if you become a bit reluctant or started to hold back for whatever reason because of things that have happened in the past, time's gonna open those gateways so you can charge forward like a wild horse. Now, time has a strong connection to the spirit realms. It's even said to grow at the gateway or the doorways into the underworld. So if you're interested in mediumship or contacting other realms, time is really gonna help because it's gonna bring you closer to those realms. You can also work with the angels, and an angel that really resonates with time is Archangel Haniel. Haniel is really good for purging what doesn't serve you so that you can evolve and that the spirit can soar. Time also has a strong connection to the fae or fairy realms. The fairies are the elemental beings that represent the element of earth. Oh, sorry, of air. Now, air is the, is the element of thought, inspiration, communication, 
and learning and all those different things. So if you need to come up with some new ideas, if you're trying to study something and you need the help of the fairies, then have a little bit of time in your hand, breathe it in, close your eyes, allow them to whisper inspiration in your ear. Or maybe you've just been getting too serious with all these different emotional healings and you need to lighten up like the fairies and take flight. Time can help you to do that as well. So either popping a drop in your hands and breathing it in as you meditate, mixing it in with different blends and either diffusing that or aromatically dressing in that, that can help you to go closer to your spiritual path and get spiritual guidance from the other realms, from the angels, from the fairies, or whatever you feel called to work with. When I think of time, I'm reminded of the Hawaiian saying, Hopo open opo. I think I've got that right. What it basically means is I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. And this can be a really beautiful mantra and you can find some beautiful um, sung versions of this out on the internet that you can listen to as you work through all these emotional issues with your time essential oil. Time essential oil is gonna work with the heart. We often get heartbroken in many different ways, not just in love, but by friends, family, people in our lives. And that can stop that kind of even love going and flowing in our lives. Time will help to get all that rubbish out of the way and clear out the channel so that you can love freely again, so that you can freely give love to the world and receive love from the world. And that is exactly what a balanced heart chakra is about. Time is so powerful in allowing us to forgive the past and leave the past in the past. So start working with it. Start working with Hopo Open Opo. God, I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> um, and, and time together and you'll find some amazing healing starts to come into your life and you'll start to see some really great transformation as well in lots of different areas. Time has a really pungent aroma and you may love it by itself. It may remind you of some type of cooking or you can actually blend with other oils if you're having a, a bit of a challenge working with it by itself. Not only will this kind of dull down its aroma or kind of mask it a little bit, but you're bringing in the powers of other oils as well. Now I talked about time before, going in deep and dragging out all those issues. And if you need a bit of support, other two oils that are really good for that are black pepper and juniper berry. So either blend one or both of them with your time and that's really gonna help you to do some shadow work, see what you've got buried and what you're hiding away from the world and bring up to the surface to be resolved once and for all. Now you can also bring in other fruit oils such as the citrus fruits and the citrus fruits bring in a, a ray of light. So we don't wanna get stuck in this muck and the, the citrus is really good for bringing a bit more illumination and a bit more joy. So try mixing uh, your thyme essential oil with orange, lemon, bergamot, lime, grapefruit, tangerine, clementine, mandarin, whatever you like kind of thing. Any of these oils will be absolutely amazing and can make some really cool aromas. The other oils you might want to try as well are flower oils. What is the action of a flower? To open and often when we've been hurt we've closed off and especially around that heart chakra. Try mixing thyme with rose or jasmine, neroli, magnolia, ylang ylang or geranium. All the flowers help us open up in different ways depending on what we need to deal with. So it's just listen to your intuition and be drawn to work with different ones. Other heart chakra oils, so anything that really resonates with here. You know, I love geranium tea tree. Uh, ylang ylang can be really powerful with the heart chakra. Pink pepper can be really great. Green mandarin, any of them can really work. So if you're doing some heart chakra work, make your own blend. And if you've got a really good blend for time, I'd love to hear about it. Pop it in the comment section below and we can all give it a good whirl. When it comes to working with essential oils, I bring in other gifts of nature and this really enhances whatever I'm doing. Now I love working with crystals and the crystal that I love working with when I'm working with thyme essential oil is malachite. Malachite has a very similar energy. Again, green, it's got copper in it that gives it that color and copper helps to bring in love and helps love to flow again. But malachite also goes digging deep and brings those issues up. It's known as the crystal of paradise and it will bring you to paradise by dealing with all the rubbish so that the, your life is clear. Not by burying it and repressing it, but by dealing with it. And the perfect trio, I also like to bring in an animal guide when I'm working with these two, and it's the butterfly. Now the butterfly and the frog are both seen as animals of transformation. But what is the difference in the transformation between the two? Well, the frog will just one day from a tadpole grow legs and hop out of the water. Pretty easy. What does the butterfly have to do? It has to go into the cocoon. It has to go and face the darkness in order to become the butterfly and become free. So this is a beautiful analogy and great symbolism. And so butterfly gives us the courage to be free, to be that beautiful being once we've dealt with our rubbish. 
Malachite and time will help you face that darkness and help you drag it out, bring it to the daylight, kick it in and screaming so that you can deal with it once and for all and then take flight with your beautiful wings. Now astrologically, I find that time is associated first of all with Jupiter because of its purple flowers, but also with Pluto because it does go deep into the underworld type of thing just like Pluto, the god of the underworld. So either of these two planets is a real resonance with this. I find the best day to work with time would be a Thursday because Thursday is ruled by Jupiter and thus the star signs that are best in, I guess, um, connected to time essential oil would be your Scorpios and would be your Sagittarians. But that doesn't mean that all the other signs can't work with time. We'll all benefit from all the things I've talked about in this video. And I'd love to hear about how you've benefited from time essential oil as well. Now remember, when it comes to getting essential oils, they're not all the same. You'll notice a variation in price, where they come from, and that all affects, you know, the kind of quality you're getting. You want to get a therapeutic pure grade one, one that's been tested by a third party ideally and comes from the country of origin. So if you'd like to know more about where to get some amazing thyme essential oil, shoot me a message. My contact details are below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barillet. Blessed be.